Oh. God. You have to give the girl points for tenacity, you know? At least when the guy says no thanks, she sticks around until they're both ready to die of embarrassment. No, oh, no, no. Do, do I look embarrassed? Do I? I am well, so embarrassed. You know what? Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I have no right to ask you anything. I shouldn't even be here. I'm going to go now. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where, where do you think you're going? I thought Melissa Bedford, the queen of the rickety old Ferris wheels and the big-time seat stealer at the ball game, was fearless. I mean, you a asked me if I wanted you last night. The answer is yes. I just don't believe that taking an unused seat at a baseball game is stealing. Four rows back over the first base dugout when your real tickets are for the bleachers? Well, it's demoralizing for the players to see an empty seat. It's expensive. It makes them feel like nobody cares. It's still theft. I've had long and varied experience with law enforcement, trust me. <laughs> we had a lot of fun at those games, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We never got caught. Well, that was, that was a miracle. We came so close. You always had that same story about leaving the tickets at the concession stand. I used to listen to you spin that uh, same convoluted tale, very picture of confused innocence, and I don't want to kiss you right the way we kissed last night. So that was real? Yeah, that was real. And you felt... Like I would have sold my soul to go back in time to actually be in Chicago and never have lied to you, never have hurt you the way I did. Let's not go back there again. Yeah, I agree. You can't. You can't recreate the past. I just learned that in spades. So let's not try. You're a fine seat stealer. World's greatest card player, snowball thrower. Your dart game could use a little help. <laughs> but I really do believe you deserve every good thing. And I hope you get it. But not with me. Hmm. We don't have a chance together. And it's not because you don't want me. It's it's because we fell in love once before, and it was magic, and we couldn't let that happen again. Melissa, I am Is trying to... Is it because to... I'm perfect and you're not? Will you come because on? Because we me... have already settled fairly definitively that I am a low-life sea stealer at baseball games who gets drunk in biker bars, not to mention the fact that I would move halfway across the country to go to a city I've never seen before and chase a guy I know is involved with another woman. And this would make you... The match for a guy who spent the better part of the last two decades lying to stay alive and still hasn't figured out what the hell else he's good at? Works for me. Oh, oh. I promised myself that I, I would not hurt you again, and that is one promise I intend to keep. Do you mind? I mean, do you mind not making promises for me? You know, I'm a big girl, and, and, and I can decide who I want to get involved with, and um, if I want to risk getting hurt, and if I do want to risk getting hurt with you, that really would be my business. Now, if you don't want to be with me because you think I'm short, or you think I snore, or because you're just plain not attracted to me anymore, that's one thing. But if it is because it's some outdated, outmoded, ridiculous form of, of chivalry, then I think you really need to rethink the whole thing. Are you laughing? You are laughing at me. Well, You're laughing at me. Uh, well, pretty much, yeah, I am. Why, is this funny to you? Be no, this is, uh, this is nuts. This is nuts to me. I, see, I, I, I don't, you should hate my guts. I don't understand why you don't. I mean, you, I don't think you're any of those weird things you said you were. I think that you're funny and forthright. You're an amazingly beautiful woman who is fighting with everything she's got to break her own heart. It's my heart to break. If I decide I want to break it on you, that's my business, and you still haven't given me one good reason why I shouldn't. Well, I could, but you'd probably throw something at me. Roy! 
God, have you always been so incredibly stubborn? About you, yes. All right, I well, have. if you will remember, I. I need to think. You're absolutely right. I am? We can't go back. We can't recreate the past. The past is dead, and we can never be what we are to each other. Right? Right. And there's only one thing left to do. Where is the MV? What? The, the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles. Yeah, you have a New York driver's license, right? Yeah. Okay, so where is it? it it's on Van Ness and 3rd, I think. Okay, I'll find it. I'll see you later. When? What? What are you doing? Um, I'm going to get my driver's license. I need to get a New York driver's license because I now am Melissa Bedford of Port Charles, New York, and I live at 357 Elm Street, apartment 2B. <laughs> yeah, funny, it all comes back to you. I wouldn't know. I don't dwell in ancient history. Have we met? You're crazy, you know that. If the only chance we have together is to forget the past, I have miraculously developed amnesia. Melissa Bedford, nice to meet you. Words are welcome. Likewise. I'm a nurse at General Hospital. I serve drinks in a bar. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Uh, you, uh, like baseball? I love it. Me too. See you around? Who knows? 